Well, I'll just go back to talk about my history because I, that using solid examples is the best way. Um, I've always been a very loud person, but I've never been a very assertive person. Um, and so I spent the bulk of my life as a boy letting people do things that I didn't want them to do because it was scarier for me to say no or to avoid situations than it, um, than it was to have really horrible things happen to me. Um, when you're in heels and sometimes nails and you're really feeling your fantasy, as we say, and you look good, you really don't want people to mess with you because this thing that's going on is really fun and you don't want the bubble burst. So um, as a drag queen, you out of habit, like if someone tries to touch you, you're like, don't touch this, you know? You, you develop this habit of saying no and um, you really want to be on stage, so you get used to asserting yourself and being like, I want to be there! Um, is there time for me? Um, and so, obviously, Ms. Cracker and I inhabit the same body, one more comfortably than the other. Um, tell you which next week. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, so, this body has learned from Ms. Cracker to be assertive and to say no. Um, and part of the reason that I quit my day job was because though I came in as just some regular guy in my schlubby clothes, um, it was impossible for me to go back and forth from a person that, that said yes to everything to a person that said yes to only the things that she wanted. And so when I started being asked to do tasks that I didn't want to do, I was like, do you know, <laughs> do you know who I am? <laughs> like, Fill out this government form! No. So yeah, it's, it really it really has profoundly affected me. Um, and learning to think about yourself as a person that can, that can actually say no or demand things, you can't undo that. And that has been, that has probably actually saved my life. I think in a very real way, which is a, an aspect that I didn't get to about drag. It can save your life, because I would not be alive without it. And I'll take this moment to say that it was Bob the drag queen that showed me the way into drag and showed me how to uh, assert myself. And I would say it's because of her that I'm still here today and not on the tracks of the C train. So I just, I, I, I can't emphasize enough what, if drag is right for you, what it can do for you. I guess anything that you love that you do can save you, except men. <laughs>